Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another HBAR price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the HBAR chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 1 hour chart and also above a key area of support at around the 0.0639 dollar mark which are now acting as support for us to continue gearing up we have also continued to obey the ADO12 structures where we have been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement area within this red target area here on the charts and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of these uh, wave 1 to the upper side and I now believe that HBAR is now ready for that massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 that we expect after seeing the breakdown in the formation of that wave 2 and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch my target areas in the formation of this wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after seeing our low on the 23rd of March we started this massive bounce to the upper side obeying the ADO12 structures where you can see I have this ADO12 structure in blue where we have now picked in that first wave also seen a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that bottomed out within this blue target area down here and having seen the low for this wave 2 whatever we expected next was the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 and because of its impulsive nature I also expected to see a micro ADO wave count within the formation of the wave 3 having the wave 5 of the micro ADO wave count giving us the high for that wave 3 and also fully maximizing our target areas and here on the charts you can see I have this ADO12 structure in red which is the micro ADO12 count within the formation of the wave 3 where we have picked in the wave 1, seen a wave 2 and now the primary scenario is that whatever we are seeing is the formation of that wave 3 and now sketching out a target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIPS to the low of the second wave that now gives me a target area in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.0977 dollar mark so that is the minimum that I'm expecting these wave 3 to the upside to do and for that move to also play out there are key moves that we need to keep an eye on and the first one is a break above our key area of resistance at around the 0.0689 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that we can expect a successful retest before we continue gearing up to our wave 1 high which lies at around the 0.0781 dollar mark and a break above that will trigger even higher prices to help us break through our key significant high at around the 0.0808 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that significant high that would trigger even higher prices to fully maximize our minimum target areas in the formation of that with 3 at around the 0.0976 dollar mark so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and before I give you the long term scenarios we can first take a look at the indicators where on the RSI you can see we are trading at around the 56 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices and also taking a look at the long term scenarios that I'm expecting here on the H bar chart where you can see that I have this ADO12 structure that is in yellow where we have picked in the formation of a larger ADO12 count 1 seen a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADO12 count 2 bottoming out within this yellow target area and now the primary scenario on the long term scenarios is that whatever we are seeing is the formation of this higher ADO12 count 3 
where I'm also expecting to see a micro ad 12 count because of the impulsive nature and because of that I have this ad 12 structure in blue as the micro ad 12 count where I'm expecting the formation of the wave 5 to give us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side so that is what I'm expecting on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios and those are my short term scenarios that are on the 0.0995 dollar mark in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.